Captain's Log, Day 37. After a major house fire destroyed much of the garden and kitchen, I've finally been able to get things straightened back out again. I have a new living quarters upstairs, but I'm still in the market for some new furniture. And downstairs, I've redone the plumbing and rearranged all of the crafting stations. And I spent the last two days harvesting up some resources, and I've now managed to fully clear out the five closest caves to the house, with just a little bit of ore left in number six. All in preparation for the miasmic research mission, which will require us to enter into the age of electricity. Couple more mini updates to get to around here. The first is that I made a chicken coop and holy crap, this thing is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, a rustic chicken coop, more like a chicken mansion, whoa. I've heard that you can go inside these as well, yes. Okay, and you can use these as shelter. So, a place that chickens can go to feel safe and lay eggs. Well, I don't have any chickens. I just wanted to see what this would look like. Yeah, we'll have to try to design something with that in mind, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna, I need a bigger island is what I need. We should have lived on that island. It's so much bigger. Maybe we could have two islands. Oh, there's some room on this side over here. Oh, I see. I gotta get out there someday and see what's going on. Update number two is the new oven over here. Oh my goodness, yes, the biofuel stove to go along with the kitchen bench and the pot belly stove here. And I think with these three cooking stations combined, we have everything that we need to cook all of those meals that they want up there at the big party at the station that they're not inviting me to. I'm just down here collecting everything up, but at least I'm making some money while doing it. So, we're going to need... Beer dough, soybean stir fry, fish pie, fresh water fillet, curry, wine jam, fruit salad, crumbled salt water fillet, salt water fillet, sashimi... And a lot of it. I think we need some electricity first. I, I think we need to get a deep freeze or something that can preserve the food longer and something with better capacity than these ice boxes here. <sighs> anyway, I did cook some new food when I was at it. I've got some pickled avocados and over here there was, uh, yeah, potato and carrot fries. That sounds delicious. Got cooked bacon, crispy bacon, tomatoes. We got all kinds of cooked steak over here. Hearty salad, fruit salad, more potato and carrot fries. Eating good out here. So everything is plugged back in and working. That that was just a, a chore that had to be done at some point. And I've got a new living area up here. We got our nice new statue that we got as a reward and the dresser. And I just need to look around for maybe some more storage up here, a rug. We got to get into the lighting. Got a nice fireplace so I don't burn the place down again. It's like a two-tiered fireplace, so, you know, exhausting all the fumes out of one chimney. Might need another one over on this side of the house. It seems to get colder over here. Anyway, we are drinking coffee this morning. Oh, I also got the oxygen tank, the good tank, the one that's like four times bigger than the one we had before, the bladder, so we can stay out for longer periods of time. And with that, I think it is time to head out. The, the forges are busy burning. I, I just got those filled up with frozen ore and stuff, and in the machining bench, we're sitting on 229 electronics. I wanted to get that going because I'm pretty sure we're about to enter into electronics, and we're off to do the miasmic research mission. I do have a whole bunch of tech points, 12 of them. I've accumulated them. I've just been saving them. Uh, so that we can go through and purchase whatever we need for this next mission here. But we got to figure out, you know, the shopping list. I think we're going to do this mission. Yeah, miasmic research right there. Once we finish miasmic research, or at least we get into the electronic era a little bit, then we'll head back down to the celebrity chef stockpile. And then we can move on to some of this other stuff over here. Like the manhunt. Yeah, continuing the manhunt for the person that's stealing everything around here. Let's do it. If you're looking for some quick cash, this could be the one. Looks simple enough, but then again, it always does. You should know how to pick them by now. Yeah, always seems simple until I get to the other side of the world and realize all the things I've got to go back to my base to get. <laughs> that's just the way it goes, though. Let's head out there and see what they need me to do. But before we do, Granny T does have some skill points. I typically go toward increased movement speed first. I feel like that's you know, the, the reason we have a mount is to move faster. So that's the one thing I usually aim to get. And then we can do other things like maximum health. Maybe that would be a good one since I've lost um, each of your predecessors <laughs> due to combat. All right, we got the egress ramp all fixed up. You know what I ought to do with one of those skill points is take one into dirt. Well, we have dirt foundations, I think. There must be another dirt. Yeah, dirt ramp. 
Wow, what a shame that that's three different skill points just for some dirt building structures. But anyway, dirt ramps would be nice because they don't take weather damage. And they're easy to get. I can start bringing a shovel with me and instead of using wood ramps everywhere, we just use dirt ramps. Well, it's not going to help me right this minute, but it's something to think about. All right. We push deeper into the swamp then to the mission site. Whoops. I think we're here. Check the mission log here. Oh, yes. There it is. Construct a miasmic research station. Solar panels, organic residue cleanser, foundry, electric furnace, advanced alteration bench, and chemistry bench. Whoa. That is all tier 4 tech. I don't have anything in tier 4 yet. Let's have a look here. Tier 4. Well, geez. We'll need the fabricator for sure. It said we needed the foundry, so grab that. Right. We'll need the electricity tool for sure. Oh, here we go. Solar panel, it said. Ah, uh, material processor. We'll definitely need that. Look at that. 60 electronics. Well, we've made some progress there. Advanced alteration bench was on the list. Chemistry bench. Organic residue cleanser. Electric furnace. We're gonna need titanium plates for sure. Take that. I have two points left. Okay, let's not make any mistakes here composite paste for composites but i've forgotten how to make carbon fiber maybe i already have what i need okay i'll, I'll keep the point in the bag then in case i figure this out later what time is it 16 it's almost five o'clock okay uh from here what i would like to do is take down a mammoth for the tusks for the bone powder for epoxy because i'm kind of running low on that uh, the other thing is that I've heard a couple of things. Number one, the reed flower, which is required to make wine, grows here in the swamp. And number two, also this is where you get saltwater fish. So we'll have to bring some fish traps out here. For now, let's hunt for the reed flower and hope that we stumble across a mammoth. Oh, is this it? I think I found it. Yes, right? Yes, reed flower. Okay, so take a whole bunch of these. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this cavern here. Oh, what? Where does that go? Oh my goodness. Is there a way to get down there, do you think? Or no way. You'd have to have a parachute to get way down there. Unless there's a cave or something that leads down there. Well, I don't see any nearby cave entrances. But is that on the map here? If I zoom right in, not, not even. Not really. It just looks like a kind of a pond there. It looked like there was water at the bottom. Well, perhaps that is a mystery to uncover at a later time. We are losing daylight, though. And I am losing oil in my lantern. And I, I hate riding at night, so I'm going to start working my way back. And I guess that is it for that little adventure. Although, I do try to not return home empty-handed. So, I think today I'm in the market for some off-site. And now that I'm back and the forges are packed up a little bit, let's have a look and see... Yes, we can do the wine. I, I've got 20 bottles, so I'm actually held back by berries a little bit. All right, it's fine. That stuff won't spoil, so I've got the beer done. I've got the wine done. I think I also have the berry jam done. I've got the flour done. You can see all my flour over here. Um, so what we need to work on now are the perishable vegetables. Uh, but we can only start that once we get good food preservation technology, which should be pretty soon. Oh boy. Okay, now I've got a long night of crafting ahead of me because I've got to get a material processor and the fabricator. Yes, yeah, starting with the fabricator. Carbon fiber. Oh, that was the issue. What, how do I do carbon fiber? Oh, yes, the carbon paste. I found it. Okay, carbon paste, carbon fiber. Okie dokie. <laughs> Now begins the back and forth to find all the stuff in the boxes. My boxes are doing great though. Look, I got oxide, I've got animal parts, I've got no light here. We've got all kinds of exotics, coal. We're doing great. Maybe someday here I'll <laughs> splurge and get a skill point into some kind of a fancy battery powered lantern that lasts longer. Fabricator, done. Material processor down and that does require power. I was afraid of that. Okay, I guess we're going on to solar panels next which requires composites and I can't get the composites without composite paste and composite paste is made exclusively in the material processor so I will have to invest in a generator first. Okay, it's always good to have generator backup anyway and we do have that one point in the bag. Let's just look for a, I think probably a biofuel generator would be fine. Just temporarily, let's just plug this in right here and I mean, 
Technically, I'm wearing a helmet, so I shouldn't get carbon monoxide poisoning. Biofuel is in. Got my new wiring tool. Let's just go straight into that and activate. That provides 2,000 power. We have almost four hours of fuel, and that should be plenty of power to run this so that I can continue the process to get carbon paste. And it's a fresh new day. The sun is cresting over the cliffs there, but there's no rest for the weary. The crafting will continue. Ah, crap. The com <laughs> It's always something. Okay, okay, we're fine. Composites, actually, they need to go into the electric furnace in order to, well, the paste has to go into the furnace to turn into composite. Okay, so this thing here ain't gonna cut it. And there we go, our first bottleneck. It is concrete. Well, I'm producing what I can, but I need more stone. So, we are out of here. I think you are up, Lord Moopsy. Oh boy. Light storm rolling in. Shouldn't be any big deal here. Let's see, perfect, a little cluster of stone right here. Lord Moopsy has six skill points and yes, roaming vitality, increased stamina regeneration. One, two, three, four, I love that. Large stomach, uh, not so much. I want also cargo hauling. I gotta go in the other direction to get there. Increased fall damage reduction and then increased mount cargo slots, okay. Good deal. Yeah, you lay right there, Lord Moopsy. Have a quick pat. If I give him a good pat, he'll gain experience faster. And then I think because of his proximity to me while I'm doing this, he will level up a little bit in the process. We'll find out at the end of it. Hopefully we get lucky and we get the one-shot thing where it takes the whole boulder down in one hit. Lord Moopsy got one skill point out of that. And I'll take the extra Mount Cargo inventory slot. And after grabbing my tree sap, we can do 36 more. Yeah, concrete is hard to produce. And I'm kind of running out of silica now. Ooh, level up. Nevertheless, that was plenty enough to get the electric furnace down. Just gonna carefully kind of run a wire behind the material processor. Get a wire off of this, and that'll do right there. That's not too bad. So, are we good on energy? Energy shortage? Oh, this requires 2,000 out of 25. Oh, the, the little generator over here is not enough. However, it still works, just not as well. It should be enough to get us the composites we need to then create the solar panels. Well, I can do the foundry, so let's work on that. And if memory serves, this thing is comically gigantic, so I'm just gonna put it in the floor. We've gotta bring it to the swamp anyway, so... Yeah, <laughs> it's just gonna live there for a little while. In terms of my talent points, lately I've been going down the cooking and farming tree because I wanted this negative uh, 50% rate of food spoilage in my inventory. So I've got that, we can do increased food effects duration. And uh, ultimately I wanna get down here to the bountiful, the bumper crop, which increases yield from planted crops. Oh, here's the organic residue cleanser. That's a chunky one too. Oh man, everything is requiring so much power. I just checked, I can only make one solar panel right now. We're gonna have to go out and there's gonna be a little bit of a an expedition here to get the remaining resources that we need. We're gonna be low on electronics. I've burned through all of them already. Wow, wait, it's, yeah, 30 per solar panel. No way, that is a lot. Okay, which way is south? We gotta put these on the south facing face of the house here so that they catch the most sunlight. I'll just toss it uh, right over here for now is I think fine, right? there and that'll help us with our power requirements to get the rest of this project finished yeah okay one more solar panel then and then we have to go out for resources to get the remaining two i can actually do more electronics right now what can i do 19 more get started on that and then we're going to be short copper wire okay actually Got a bunch of copper over here. We might not be as bad off as I thought I was a second ago. Scratch that, we're kind of bad off. Okay, <laughs> who's coming with me? We gotta go get some silica. Guess, it's been a while since you and I rode together. Let's go. Thing is with the silica, silica and aluminum. In all these caves that I've cleared out around here, I left behind all the silica and all the aluminum, but just because I have so much of it, or I had so much of it, and uh, at the time I didn't have a use for the silica. Luckily, silica is really easy to find. Just head over here to the cliff wall here. And I've already done 
the cliff wall for sulfur, salt, and, um, well, oxide for the most part, but it's worth making another lap around here to harvest the rest of it up. There we go, I think we're done. I'm dropping ore hand over fist now. Cass is all loaded up, but check this out. An exotic deep ore deposit. So we have to get the fancy exotic drill and we'll come and drill this out someday. There must be at least a couple of hundred exotic in there, I would think. And pretty close to home, so I could run a wire over here and run it off electricity. Well, these things are only temporary. Like, they'll the resource gets exhausted, so... But then again, we've also got the enzyme geyser here, so yeah, maybe we think about making like a little bit of a mini mining outpost over here. Well, <laughs> more of a defensive outpost. When you start digging for the enzyme from the geysers there, it aggravates the animals in the region, and so you have to actually defend yourself against hordes of angry enzyme crazed animals well it is getting late and we're about to lose power because once the sun goes down in fact we might not even have power as soon as the shadows start hitting these solar panels uh, we're cooked basically but i will see what i can do here for the remainder of the night in terms of crafting got a storm anyway Ooh, that's a flash storm all right all right well i'll see what i can do here for the night and then we'll catch up again in the morning Okay, it's a fresh new day and the grind continues. So far, I've got almost everything. We have the foundry. I made up the advanced alteration bench and the chemistry bench. We have the organic residue cleanser. I have some building materials to build the outpost with. We have one furnace here. We have to craft one more plus two more solar panels. And I've been grinding on electronics as much as possible throughout the night. The thing that holds me back the most is copper wire, and I'm smelting all of the frozen ore that I have, this is the rest of it right here, in order to get that. All right, here we go, two more solar panels. We are so close, almost there. Oh, and a level up with that first one. Very nice, number two, Let's drop these over here. We're gonna have plenty of blueprint points. We have passed the technology bottleneck. All right, we're on the final push now, 25 more electronics, and then hopefully soon we can get the last furnace, and that's that's it, just one more of these things. However, I think, I, d I don't think that we have the copper for the copper wire. There's no more copper over here. There's no more copper over here. No, no, there's a little bit, a little tiny bit there. Okay, can we just... Uh, grab this up and turn this into wire yeah we're gonna have to mine more i mean we get a lot of copper through the frozen ore which we get the frozen ore by mining pretty much everything else but no i think we have to go into the caves again and see if we can dig some like pure copper out all right i'm just trying to get my animals organized here because we have a lot of animals uh who do we want to take with us probably some of these mounts have uh, a lot of inventory slots that I've opened up, I think. Sardalkarul is like our cargo MOA. Kes over here is the speed MOA. Um, yeah, Granny T GT is like the hot weather MOA. Lord Moopsy has a couple of skill points and also quite a few cargo slots. Let's go for another increased cargo slot. And that was plus one heavy cargo slot which means uh, we can carry two mammoth tusks with Moopsy now. That's cool. Let's take some extra health there. 2%, not much, but it'll do in a pinch. And yeah, Lord Moopsy, why don't you come with us? And Lord Moopsy is hungry and thirsty. Come over here for a second. And Cass, back it up. Make some space here. Quite a process. We have quite the homestead. We're going to have chickens at some point as well. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Yeah. Wait. Oopsie. You gotta drink the water. Don't don't lay down. Drink the water. Oh, Moopsie's drank the water. Oopsie's good. Here, have some food and have a quick pat with the with the gold steel blade. Watch out. And yeah, let's head back over to this cave over here that I have almost finished. And let's finish it off. Alright, here we are, but we've got something of a fight on our hands here. Yes! Bring it on. Love it. I think Moopsie loves it too. All right, no, Moopsie, you're coming inside with me, man. 
We can't afford to lose any more animals. All right, what do we got going on in here? We have some iron, we have some aluminum. Worm! Take that. Here we go. Yes, raw copper. That was the only one that I see here, though, which is very sad. If only we were closer to the volcanic... Oh, titanium. If only we were closer to the volcanic region. You know, that big, long cave where we built the outpost before we get into the lava flows? That place had a... T it just had everything. I mean, it had a ton of copper, but there was no shortage of anything else either. Well, I'm going to take the rest of what's in here just for the sake of saying that this cave is finished. We might have to find another cave to get the copper that we need. There you go, Moopsie. Show him who's the boss around here. And that cave is clear. Oh man, I thought for a second there might be a waterfall cave here. Oh well, <laughs> have a look at this, man. I'm so glad that these things don't fully degrade so I can come back here and just quickly patch him up. Easy as that. Oh, and uh, one thing I wanted to do here, I do have some uh, solo points or a solo point. I want to take this one here, health monitor, see animal health bars, and can see creature alert level as well. Let's get up here. Woo, that was weird. Ah, there we go. Just have much better visibility of the animals now. Like that guy. Otherwise, would have never seen him way over there. Ah, here we go. Next cave. Unexplored, never been here before. Although, wolf chasing me, hold up. Gotcha. Take the arrow, take the bones, you can keep the rest, and I'll take the skeleton. Gonna need all the bones we can get for epoxy, especially if we're having a hard time finding the mammoths. Although I have heard rumors that there may be mammoths migrating in here to the Arctic area. Here, Lord Moopsy, why don't you stay right here where I'm relatively confident nothing's gonna sneak in and kill ya. And, oh, this is a weird cave. Lots of goodies in here. I just want to see what's going on. And maybe I'll start in the back and mind my way to the front. Oh! Got a fork in the road here. Let's go left. Okay, we're gonna have to do some building around here, it looks like. I brought some ramps with me. Here, I'll just jump down. It should be okay. Ugh. I have cave pneumonia, but it's almost healed up. Just in time to catch it again, I'm sure. There we go. Bit of a ramp system to get down here. Wow, this place is huge. Wait a minute. Are we... We're in the glacial cascade, but it feels like we're in the swamp. Oh. Worm. Another worm. Take him. It's got that swampy green color. Oh, we are in the swamp. We're in the pillars, it says. There's some exotic over there. Lots of worms here, but they stand no chance. Look at the copper here. Oh, wow. It's everywhere. This is perfect. What is this? It's a copper deep ore mining site. That is good to know about. There is a beehive here as well. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Oh, this must communicate into the pillars over here. I mean, I don't know. Is that is that good? Are we going to use this pathway or... I don't know. I'm just here for the copper now. Let's get it. Look, the bees are so bad here that they're damaging the wood. <laughs> they're like termite bees. And they are vicious. They're hurting me real bad and I'm having a hard time killing them. For some reason, they're not coming down far enough. Come on, come here. There we go. Got that one. They're just continuing to spawn though. And I don't know, can I? Yep, I can reach that from here. Okay, that's good to know. Can I just shoot the bees? No. Nope. I gotta, I gotta hit him with the axe, because that makes a lot more sense. Is there bug repellent that I can unlock at some point? <laughs> no, we're good now, I think. Back to work. Oh, I just got the pneumonia right as I'm about to exit the cave. What a shame. Well, that, that place is rich and filled with tons more ore, so we'll be back here. That'll take days to finish off, but for now, let's head back and see if we can get this copper smelted, turned into wire, turned into electronics, and then turned into solar panels, and then we're back off to the swamp after that. Here we go. Look at the copper going in here, and I'm going to level up any second now. There it is. So while we're waiting on smelting, let's spend some of these blueprint points. We're going to need a basic battery pack at some point. Oh, maybe even just go straight to the advanced battery pack. Do not lick. <laughs> Let's get the charging station battery powered lantern. And that's just more electronics, okay. Priorities then. Priority is to get the solar panel. Is 
Sounds like we're in like the Great War. Like this is what I imagined an artillery bombardment would be like. Ridiculously loud. Here we go. The the second electric furnace. I guess we'll just we'll have two. I mean, there's nothing I can do after I make it except scrap it for a huge loss. So we can have one for frozen ore and then one for like ore that I actually want to you know specific ore once I get it all sorted out. I tried the whole melting the the frozen ore in the fire, but there's such a limited output that it, it clogs up it, it, almost immediately. It's really not worth it at all. Just stuff it in the forge and, you know, let it run for a day or so. Okay, so put the electric furnace in here. And I guess I gotta start collecting everything up here. Just um, take the copper. Yeah, we'll just have the regular furnace work on copper while I'm gone. Okay, now we can yank this up and we can get the solar panels from outside and let's just do a final inventory check here we have the four solar panels we have two electric furnace and then it's chem bench alteration bench residue cleanser foundry chem bench alteration bench organic residue cleanser foundry okay looks good to me i was wondering though if this is miasmic research i think I heard from the station that we're gonna have to craft miasmic tools, but I don't know which ones. So maybe before we go, we just bring this stuff with us, because this will have to be made in in these components over here, like while we're gone. So uh, maybe I bring some of the stuff with me. We need the crystallized miasma, right? It is used to make distilled miasmic coating which is then used to make the tools. And it's just about morning, so I think we're pretty much ready to set out. Oh, I need to make a few more scoria floors and walls, I think, and that's it. Okay, I have the last of the structure materials. Oh shoot, someone's a, a snow leopard. Daisy, look out. Get out of here. Oh, Daisy, Daisy. I accidentally hit Daisy. We didn't get the cooling damage though. Daisy could probably handle it anyway. Woo. That's like the second time some wolves have made it over as well. Sometimes they swim over. I've seen them before where they're just kind of hanging out on the lip there. But I've also seen them cross the bridge too. Oh boy. Yeah, we gotta get a fence around here at some point to help defend you guys. Right, Daisy? Anyway, let's open them up. But honestly, you can keep all your guts. And I am just about ready to go. Lord Moopsy is all loaded up. Let's get Lord Moopsy some food. Check on my food situation. I've had all kinds of good food. Cooked prime meat, crispy bacon, potato and carrot fries. I've also had some hot coffee. Love it. All right. We've got a long hike ahead of us. Let's get out of here. Light snow outside right now, no big deal. We are off to do the miasmic research. All right, we're just about at the site, but look what I found. Our new source of epoxy. All right, they have a very small head though, so let's see if I can just aim this properly. Oh, we can see the health bar now, which is quite helpful. Uh oh, uh oh. Get the guns, get the guns. Whoa. Oh, they don't do a whole lot of damage though. Yeah, get them. Get them, Moopsie. Nice. Oh, that's my. Ooh, watch out. Moopsie, it's okay. We, we got it. Well, you gotta take these things where you can get them. There's one tusk. I gotta go put that on to Moopsy here. Moopsy can hold two, so I won't have to be bothered by having one on my back. And tusk number two. Ooh, almost encumbered. I don't know. Do I count as weight? Nope, we're moving fine. Oh, it is nice, though, to be able to see the health bars here. Because otherwise, a lot of these animals are well camouflaged. Okay, we've entered into the zone. Aw, oh, man, the one thing I didn't do was refill my lantern before I left, so... Let's conserve fuel until tonight. I suppose I can build this anywhere, so it's up to me to find a suitable location.
we go. All complete. Now we have to collect crystallized miasma by hunting and skinning creatures in the swamp. Do we know how much? Because I brought 91 with me. That's it. <laughs> We're all done. Yeah, the hunting. We've been hunting all along. So refine the crystallized miasma into distilled miasmic coating via the chemistry bench. We need 20 of it. Okay, I'm taking a pretty simple approach to power here. Just plug in, plug, plug. You get one, you get one, and you get one. Now we're good to go. Everything is operational here. This goes into the chem bench to make the stabilized or distilled miasmic coating, which is in a vial, so I hope it's stabilized and won't poison me anymore. Okay, we gotta wait on that for a little bit then. And then uh, we'll figure out what they want me to craft once that's once that pulls through. I'm gonna just kind of walk through the swamp here. Okay, I kind of want to see if I can get a crafting bench and some animal fat so that I can refill my lantern. Okay, the mission has completed that one phase of it anyway. Craft the miasmic tools. Okay, the station people were right. We've got to craft a bunch of stuff over here. But first, set down my crafting bench and... Yeah, I'm gonna need like a skinning bench. Oh, I've already got the materials for it. Nice. A skinning, ah, crap, that's not what I need. I needed uh, a cooking station. Ah, oh, that requires iron ore. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, just turn my lantern off then. Wait a minute, didn't I see? Oh, here we go. This, there's a recipe here for acidic glands to turn into animal fat. Then I can recharge my lantern. Who's got glands? Oh, this guy's got glands here. Old, the, the goopy old viscid guy. Oh, they, there we go. Give him a second there. Money, oh, he's also got the volatile substance. I don't know exactly what that is. And the noxious crust. Maybe we can see if we can process that while we're here. We've got everything set up. All right, lantern on, this shouldn't be an issue now. Let's go acidic glands in, animal fat out. And then after that, can you do the noxious crust for silica? And we'll see how much we get. Is that going to be worth it? It's actually great. We'll have a nice little outpost here. All right, tech tree. It needed the axe, pickaxe, uh, sickle, and knife. Grab up some of this distilled miasmic coating over here. And that's not poisoning me, is it? Nope, we seem to be stable. We need axe, pickaxe, knife, and not throwing knives, the sickle. That is incredibly fast and efficient. Now we have to deliver acidic glands and infected bark? What in the world is that? Oh, so that's not our reward then. That's the delivery pod. Oh, I just gave away all my acidic glands. Well, you should have told me. I gotta go get some more now. Oh, that only gave me 40 silica ore for the noxious crust there. Um... I don't know about that. I was kind of looking though, the, the the miasmic pickaxe, it's better than the cold steel pickaxe that we're using, which is about to break anyway, but it also gives me noxious crust or, or increases my chance for it or something. It, it might be something on the order of instead of frozen ore, I get noxious crust now using this new pickaxe. Okay, well, whatever, I guess we're switching over to the poison tools now. They apply poison damage. This one looks pretty cool. Oh, that one looks very cool. Let's come out here in the light, get a proper look at things. Yes, I like the looks of that. What about the pickaxe? Okay, not too bad. And the sickle? It's got a little bit of like poison on the blade. I like that. Uh, what about the what about the big hammer? I wouldn't mind switching over to the miasmic stuff full time if I could. Oh, I'd have to unlock it though. Is that is that worth it? No, it's definitely not, because I'm not even using... I don't need clay anymore. I have tons of clay. Oh, a mammoth. I have tons of clay, and I have tons of um, obsidian and all that stuff, so I'm not, I'm not even going to do that kind of mining anymore. I'm done with it. And, you know, we already have the two tusks. I could carry one more home with me, but for the most part, I think I'm all set. Here, I'm going to... Um, yeah, Moopsie, why don't you hang out inside for a little bit? I'm gonna go out on foot and see if I can get this, um, these acidic glands. That's easy enough, but what about the bark? Is that something I get from a tree? A piece of twisted and crumbled bark can be stripped for epoxy, toxic to humans. This will damage you when carried. Exotics have been shown to warp and twist DNA on a molecular level. It would seem no living thing is safe. 
There we go. That's what we've been looking for. Ah, uh, who's at the front door here? It's, oh, the Colombian mammoth. What are you trying to go in there for? Are you trying to hurt my animals? I don't know how comfortable I am with you being here. Ah, crap. I'm taking damage from the poison. All right, let's just make it snappy. Oh, no, 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 not punch. <laughs> Get the shotgun out. There we go. Aim high for the head. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I did. I think I shot him in the tusk there. That gave me the armor indicator. Ow, wow. Luckily, I can tank this guy a little bit. Holy. Yeah, the infected bark comes off of trees. You just have to use the axe. I was trying to knife it before. Here we go. Oh, infect. Right. Oh, infected bark goes straight to epoxy so we can leave the mammoths alone from now on, perhaps. Is it a one to five ratio? Infected bark to epoxy? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to probably stock up on some of that before I head back home and break camp here. Let's uh, deliver the stuff that we need to deliver and finish off this mission then. Just, yeah. Oh, needlers and Komodos. Great. Oh, boy. Sorry about that, Moopsie. Just got speared right in the butt. Ah, the stupid UDA. Look at this ridiculous location here. Right next to a needler as well. Here, just stuff this stuff in... Oh, oh, oh. Gotta get it out of Moopsie first. Grab and stuff. And, yep, the needler's on to us. Let's move out of here. I think I put a lot extra in there, but that's fine. We've done it. Miasmic research is complete. 250 Ren, 500 Exotic. Let's go back to camp. And, oh, that infected bark is just gold for epoxy. No way. Okay, so we're never going to have to worry about that again. I don't even think I need any more bark. Just let that process and bring the epoxy home. All the other expensive stuff, though, needs to get packed in with Moopsie. And we'll haul it all home, though. All right, finally, we're back home. And I have a ton of unpacking and organization to do. I gotta get all the new workstations put in here. I gotta get power hooked up and everything plugged in. And that's gonna take me probably well through the night and into tomorrow. The next mission we have to work on is the big cookout for the crew up at the station. And so we're gonna have to plan out what vegetables we're gonna have to plant and harvest and then how we're gonna store them and preserve everything while we cook it all up. Probably have to unlock the deep freeze, I think is what we're looking for here. And that's gonna require the marble kitchen bench, deep freeze. What about the refrigerator? Yeah, that mission was actually really great for us. Ooh, hydroponics here. Interesting. Vitamins. Man, there's so much to go through here. I, I feel like I've only skimmed over the surface, but oh, we've got lighting to get into here at the base. That would be nice to get some real lights in here. Wow, still much more left to do. That mission was great though because it launched us into the age of electricity and we've got all the high tech gear now and we have electronic production going at full tilt. How much more can we do here? 31 more, get started. Anyway, that is gonna have to do it for tonight. Let's get some rest here and get started on our next mission first thing tomorrow morning. I may have jumped the gun on this one a little bit. I thought at the end of last episode that we were pretty much ready to go. But some people reached out to me on Discord and through the comments section letting me know that no, this miasmic research mission actually requires you to have things like um, the foundry and the electric furnace and stuff like that. So I, I was kind of prepared going into this knowing that we were going to have to make a big leap forward. So I did do a little bit of off-camera mining and exploring and just basically trying to get resources, trying to get electronics more than anything, and trying to get some more blueprint points. And I, I'd say it worked out just fine. In the next one, though, we're going to do the big cookout mission and get rid of that one because uh, it, it's, it's, kinda, it's like a lot of chores to get that one because we have to do a lot of farming of different crops and pres food preservation and so on that we have to transport it all all the way out into the the arctic zone down to the south coming next week though or is it this week the null sector update for icarus it's going to add a lot of quality of life features and new creatures new missions in a whole new zone to the prometheus map because we're playing on the prometheus expansion pack right now it's a it's a paid dlc and so it's going to add a whole bunch more content to this there are going to be npcs new mega bosses for us to fight later on in the series and i can't wait to start digging into that we're not quite there yet but we're getting there 
we are in the tier four stuff right now. We've got to get some upgrades at weapons and maybe get some specialty ammo types and have a look at the armor once again and see if we're wearing the best armor that we can get. Maybe even take a trip up to the station to do some shopping at the workshop. All that and more next time. Hope you'll tune in for that. Thank you to my supporters over here and I'll see you in the next one.